Hello, I'm Keith Ford. I'm Steve Ostrom, and we're here at Rock Island Auction to bring you another gun from the vault. Keith, this is a beauty. What do you yes, got here? Yes, it is. This is one of the most unique select fire rifles that was ever made. This is a 1941 Johnson. Uh, Melvin Johnson, of, who made the original semi-automatic Johnson the rifle. The one with the rotary magazine Yes, rotary underneath? magazine, okay. yep. He came out with a semi-auto, uh, full-auto, select fire a light machine gun of just kind of a competitor against the Browning BAR. Oh man, that's yeah. a lot of competition. Yeah, there. a lot of competition. He thought that he could do better than the BAR. Yeah, this was a pretty amazing design and kind of a futuristic look to it. Uh, it Johnson does. thought that he could do something better than the Browning BAR, so he came out with the 1941 Johnson light machine gun, which is a select fire, semi-automatic, full automatic. And it's a short recoil rotating bolt there. Now, what's neat about this is in full auto, it fires from an open bolt. Okay. It okay. helps, helps cool it, prevent cook-offs and stuff. And then in semi-automatic, fires from a closed bolt. Now, a really cool factor about this gun is that it had an adjustable rate of fire on it. You could do 200 rounds a minute, or you could set it to 600 rounds a minute laying down some pressed fire. Oh, yeah. Now, trying to get 600 rounds a minute out of a <laughs> magazine like this, you know, that's that's a, asking for a lot, but 200 rounds, you could run along pretty good with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you take a skilled gunner to use yes. that 600 setting. Absolutely. Yeah, but yeah, 200 rounds a minute running that, it's very controllable, but it's still a lot of recoil running along. Wow. Yeah. Now, here's a magazine right here. That's got to be a rare magazine. That is. 20 rounds of 30 out 6 right there. Single stack. Single stack, yep. And although it's a rather neat looking design, this thing was ungainly to pack around with the <laughs> magazine on the side because with all that weight, you're fighting it yeah. going like that. But yeah, Johnson just, he, he was kind of ahead of his time, but still though, we just didn't have the design quite right on it. Now these did have a swappable barrel right here. You could take that out. And let's drop this magazine out of here. And what we'll do is grab the barrel out of here. So the BAR with its carry handle would be much easier to lug around. Oh yeah. Well, oh, since, since this is still a, in the wrapper, the barrel is still in the wrapper. We will not Ooh, take the barrel out. We'll no. leave this alone. So that's pretty rare right there. We'll let the next owner do that. Yeah. But with the BAR, BAR had an attached, permanently attached barrel. You could swap it out. Right. But with the Johnson, you could. But all in all, there was about 9,200 of these made and served with the U.S. military, mainly in uh, the Pacific Theater, uh, Marine Raiders and stuff. But I mean, a cool looking gun, it just, the design just wasn't ready and needed some more stuff done. If it was on a mount, like on a vehicle or something, it wouldn't be nearly as bad. Right. You know, it wouldn't matter if you had to go in from the side. Right. Now, there was a an alteration of this, I believe it was a later model, like 1944, which had a tubular stock on it, but still incorporated the same design here, but just never really took off. But yeah, they're, they're neat guns, really futuristic. But one thing about them is that they're not pleasant to shoot. They, there's a lot of recoil in there for that, but still, it's, it's awesome seeing a piece of history like this. This one looks like it's 100% there, too. Mm -hmm. Everything, all the parts are there, nothing's missing. Even the bipod is really good shape. Yeah, and the rear sight right there, sort of like FG42 as well. Yeah, looks like a four position bipod with these mm -hmm. cutouts there. Stow it frontwards, backwards, and have them at 90 degree or yeah. 45. Pretty slick design. It is, really neat, really futuristic for 1941. Pretty much so. All right. Well, we hope that you enjoyed taking a look at this Johnson 1942 LMG. We'd especially like to thank Rock Island Auction for letting us come out and peruse their firearms that they've got coming up on the latest auction. And be sure and check out this Johnson 41 LMG. Very and, nice. Yep. And be sure and tune in again whenever we bring another gun from the vault. <laughs>